Mike Stark with Congressman Garamondi from California. What district in California? 10th Congressional District. That's the East Bay, Walnut Creek, Concord, Livermore, up into Fairfield. I used to live in Fairfield and Concord. Uh, you lived in a great back area. Back in 1990. Yeah. Uh, bedroom communities. Anyway, um, for 60 years, mm -hmm. they've been trying to pass health care. And uh, it looks like tonight it's going to happen. It's certainly going to happen in the House. Uh, the House will adopt the Senate bill and then we'll also adopt the uh, corrections to the Senate bill. It's an incredible night, making historic progress, putting the health care system on a whole new plateau, one that will assure that everyone has access to insurance. At the same time, people can keep the policies they want. didn't go as far as I would like to go. For me, we need something really efficient. That would be Medicare for all. But this is a major step serious, serious insurance reform in this. I was the insurance commissioner in California for eight years, 91, 95, 2003 to 2007, and I know that the insurance companies have one thing in their mind, and that's profit. And to achieve that profit, they do all kinds of discrimination, pre-existing conditions. If you get sick, they'll drop you from the uh, coverage, they'll deny coverage, even coverage that's necessary to keep people alive. So the insurance reform is there. It's also for small businesses. There's a 35% tax credit for small businesses that are buying insurance for their employees. You know, you had mentioned that it doesn't go far enough for you, and an argument I've heard a lot of people make is that now that everybody will have health care insurance, yeah. everybody's going to be invested in the system and have something to say about it. But that's certainly going to be true. Will that help you get the changes you... Uh... I think time, over time, we'll see those kind of changes. The um, one thing that's in this are the... Uh, um, exchanges. The exchanges provide an opportunity for a nonprofit, which could become a government or is like a government sponsored health plan. I'd certainly be a nonprofit without that profit motive. That'll be available. There'll be uniformity within the um, uh, exchanges, and that'll lead to competition as well as to better quality. So it moves the things along. Will we go to a single payer someday? Well, we will have it for Medi-Cal, and that's more than just children, up to 133%, and we have it for seniors, 65 and over. We have it for veterans. So we're well along the way. At some point, we'll begin to merge those programs so that you create efficiency within the government programs, and that doesn't leave much in the middle. Thanks very much, Congressman. Thank you.